Okay, let's talk about last night's brilliant episode of The Good Wife. Oh my God, it was so good from start to finish. It picked up right where the last episode ended with Diane walking into Will's office and basically telling Will that Carrie and um, Alicia were going to start their own firm and they were taking their top clients with them. This leads Will to walk down, like, first of all, he's stunned and he can hardly contain himself. Then he walks down the hallway and it was such a great shot of him walking and then having flashes of these intimate moments that he had with Alicia and just like broke her heart because he was all in with her and she did this behind his back and she's been planning on doing this for the last three weeks. He walks into her office and he says, so you're leaving? And she's like, no, I just got here. And then all of a sudden she realizes, she's like, wait, what? And he says, you're leaving with Carrie and you're taking our clients. And then she's trying to say no. And he just literally throws everything off of her desk. He tells her that to get out. He tells her she's fired. She's like, you can't fire me. You have to get all the members on the board to do a vote. And then you got to get all the members. Like, it, it was crazy. Right off the top, insane. She's basically... Um, being told that she has to stay in her office. She can't use the company phone. They bring in Robin, who's the new, um, new, the new Kalinda. And she's like, he tells her to watch her, make sure she doesn't go anywhere, make sure she doesn't use her phone. He gets security guards to watch the door. I mean, it's crazy. Will goes full on cray cray. Okay. He basically gets all the board members together. They vote, they vote her out. She leaves, she goes downstairs and then boom, like he tells one guy, make sure that if you find anybody, um, copying any files, you tell me. He finds out that Carrie number two is copying files. Boom. He's fired. Carrie's coming up in the elevator and he goes into the office. He sees Alicia stuff is all over the floor. He walks into his office. He sees Diane standing in the corner. They have a discussion and she's basically like, I can't believe you're doing this. He's like, you can't believe I'm doing this. He's like, I've been here. You fired me once before. I was your best lawyer. You guys did not value me. And, you know, she's trying to say, I was here for you always. He's like, I don't think you're living on the same planet as I am. She, he's, he basically says, I'm doing exactly what you and Will did back when you started this firm. And he has no regrets. She basically says, you're fired and get out. So, boom, Carrie's gone. Carrie number two's gone. Um, Alicia's gone. It's crazy. So they go downstairs and basically all the fourth years have now gathered in this coffee shop and they're trying to uh, call their clients to, to try to hold on to them. And some of them are, are uh, out of the plan because they've already been contacted by the law firm, uh, the law, the other law firm. And so they're like, okay, we need to get a hold of Chum Hum because that's their top client. They can bring in $35 million a year. So they go over, they, they finally get the guy on the phone. They go over to meet him. Boom. They're served with a restraining order. They, they, they're not allowed to talk to Chum Hum at all. They go to court. Basically the, the judge says, yep, I'm going to stick with it. You guys have a restraining order. You cannot talk to Chum Hum. Fine. So they lose that battle. Then um, the, uh, the other, Will's firm goes to talk to Chum Hum. So they're about to go upstairs into a meeting. All of a sudden, bam, they're hit with a, a restraining order saying that they can't talk to Chum Hum. Chum Hum is basically like, listen, you guys get to, need to get your stuff in order before I talk to anybody. So then Diane comes up with a compromise and it is that you know, they'll both drop their restraining orders if, Ch and then th tomorrow, the next day, they will each have one hour to talk to the head of Chum Hum. And they all agree, good, everything's good to go. So it turns out that Chum Hum decides they're not going to go with Alicia and, and, and Carrie Agos. They're going to go with Will's firm. So they're like, oh my God, I cannot believe this. We're screwed. So then um, Will's husband uh, he goes on the news as governor and says, you know, he, he's he's talking about all this other random stuff. And then he says, you know, I'm really thinking that people like that basically the Internet, they need to start paying taxes like the rest of us. And this obviously does not bode well for um, Will's firm. And this bodes very well for Alicia's firm. Bam, they get chum hub. So they're all excited. They're back in business. They have their law firm. One thing I forgot to leave out was that Kal uh, Kalinda basically sold out Carrie and them because she went up to Carrie and acted as if she was going to jump ship and come with them. And then she went and told Will everything. So they found out where their offices was going to be. So, and now there's like, they, they're saying it's going to be shut down for a couple months because there's 
termites, all this blah, blah, blah. And so that now they're working out of um, Alicia's house. And I thought this there was an amazing scene because like, you know, Alicia and Will, they've, they've been going to court. They're like, their adrenaline's going like crazy. Obviously, Alicia's getting all hot and bothered. Um, her husband comes home. They have a quickie in the bedroom, which was awesome because it was sort of like, she can't contain herself. She's like on such a high right now. Um, and it was a great moment for the two of them to have. And, it, and then it, it just topped off the entire episode and at the very end and while all this was going on as we all know diane has um is is in the running to be a supreme court judge and right at the end of the episode um alicia's husband basically says uh, peter florick basically says to eli i want you to give me some new names for supreme court judges so it looks like Diane might be on her way out of being a Supreme Court judge and might be getting back into the lawyer business. I don't know about you guys, but this episode was amazing. From start to finish, it was seamless. It was perfect. It was brilliant. The Good Wife is back and it is better than it has ever been. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see what happens next week. All right, guys, that has been my review. I hope you enjoyed it.